good morning and happy Saturday. This is Saturday, January 25th, 2020. This is gonna be the first video of 2020. I have not done a vlog in a hot minute. Um, look at these two over here. Today is a bit of a special day because we are gonna go and look at a particular RV that we could possibly be moving in that is the next adventure we will be going on. So we are gonna take you along for the ride and just show you the full our full day. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions on my Instagram about my makeup, so I'm actually gonna go through my morning makeup routine and get ready and then we'll be hitting the road. The RV is in San Antonio, so we've got about a two hour drive. God bless you. Thank you. So, let's get this show on the road. If not, you'll see it better later today when we're out of the house. But that is my makeup done. Now I'm just gonna go through and kind of maybe put a little straightener through my hair and get dressed and we'll be on the road. We are on the road. It is nine o'clock on the dot. Um, I've only had, I didn't show this, um, coffee and strong greens this morning. Um, we don't really know what we're doing for food for the day, so I'm trying to keep it light. I am a little hungry now, so I'm just gonna prioritize some protein. So I'm having some deli meat, if you can see that. Um, and then a little bit of Cholula on it. And we'll see how long that holds me over for. I also brought a protein bar, but I do wanna to try to save my macros for some good, good tasty food today, because it is Saturday and we are gonna be in San Antonio. So. Um, oh, also, I'll show you later. There's a lipstick that I use that I get a lot of questions about on my Instagram. I will show that a little bit later, but first I'm going to eat this meat. We are officially, we're officially in San Antonio. We're about 20 minutes away from the RV place. I did end up also having a little snack. I had this brownie think thin bar. I was getting a little hangry. My phone died, but I had this Think Thin Protein Bar. Um, it is 11 o'clock, so between the deli meat and the Think Thin, that's gonna have to just tag me over until we have lunch after we go to the RV. It's not RV park, RV dealer. So, oh, and then of course, the lipstick I'm wearing is the L'Oreal All Out Pout 978. Because that is part of my makeup look, and I didn't show you guys that earlier. So I think the next time you see us, we'll be in the RV. Just kidding, we made a pit stop um, at the gas station. It's a little loud. I'm still hungry, so I got some of these turkey uh, jerky. The macros are for one ounce, 80 calories, one gram of fat, four carb, 12 protein, which is awesome. And then we got some caffeine some rain. Sean got some McDonald's. 
Next stop is the RV. What is it called? Dealer. Dealer. <laughs> I can't remember if I've tried the lemon. I think I have, and it just wasn't memorable, but we're gonna try it again. They had limited options. They had this sour apple, which Sean got, and razzleberry, which I've just outdone. I've had that too many times. So I just spilled a little bit on me. Ooh. It's better than I remember. It's a little sour, actually, for not being a sour apple. The lemon is sour. Does that make sense? Do you want to try it? No, thank you. Yeah, baby! That's what I needed. That's what I needed. Sean actually talks a lot. Just whenever I start recording, he's just like... People don't need to know me. Vibing. Vibing. The turkey jerky? It's pretty decent. For what it is. Just wanted to share that information. A lot of Take you on the road, have you rocking on my plane. Don't know if you're the one, but if you are, you get a ring. Just let it down the line, don't want to rush the type of things. I'm a mama's boy, so you gotta meet my mama first. Let you work the cool ones, you see both first. No shoes, new clothes, and the shoes. So I didn't put the. You do have a spray port on the outside too as well. Okay. So basically if you're at the beach or something like that, you can actually plug in and rinse off out here or that's something cool. before it goes over. It's on the other side, that's where you have your connects and everything else too that you do have. This is uh, the brown, the darker interior. Yeah. Okay, yes. So this one definitely has... Oh, this is nice. Yeah, it makes... I got plenty of reclining space back here. Yeah. Are y'all staying in one now? No, we have a house. Yeah. You your switchboards right here for your lighting and just different things. Uh, your slides. Are on this? Um, these are. This was a good question because here. So now a lot of people once they get them, them loaded down. You gonna say something? You didn't ask me anything. What do you think? How do I look? Do I look like I'm comfortable? Yes. Yes, you do. This is pretty cozy. Let me see what it'll look like if I'm doing a video right here. Yeah, is that what you're going to look like? <laughs> this is what I'm making today. I like these countertops. It, for some reason, in those photos, it doesn't look this white, but mm -hmm. it looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. The only way I could see Sky being up here is if we put a big towel on it. Yeah. You look comfy. Do I? Mm-hmm. Thanks. You wanna go up on the bed? Oh yeah. So. Oh, now you look cozy. <laughs> oh good. I can still sit up in the bed. Yeah. I like that. Definitely need a TV right there. Most of your appliances and extras such as TVs or stereos, if they were purchased with your unit. Again, we secure our repair authorizations directly from the extended service contract carrier and we are not on- What's happening? Dun, 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 dun. Huh. 
Sean, any words? Da, na, 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 this is dumb. After you. Da, na, na, Sean, I want to know what's happening. You annoy the crap out of me. What do I do? You're annoying. What are, what are we doing right now? We're signing some paperwork. Give me my phone. <laughs> What are we doing right now? We're signing some paperwork for the RV. Can you be a little happier about it? I would be if you weren't so annoying. <laughs> I'm filming you. This is what you wanted. What they don't see is what you would what happening. What happens when you're not filming? What happens? I don't know. I wouldn't know because you don't record. I'm doing it right now. We're signing paperwork for the RV. It's happening. What kind of RV is it? Tell me about it's it. A grand Design Reflection. 367 BHS mid bunk 2020 with the uh, lighter interior. Good morning. It is now Sunday. Last night after we got Thai food. We came back home, uh, let Sky out, fed her, and then we went bowling actually with some friends. And then after that, we came home and watched uh, a movie. And then we got to bed probably around midnight. Um, and then this morning, I woke up about 8.30. It is nine o'clock now. I just laid in bed for a good half an hour. I'm preparing for my hour and a half run today. It's my first hour and a half run. Normally, I just drink my strong greens get on the road um but i'm trying to put a little bit more of an emphasis on nutrition so i'm also going to be having um some coffee and then i'm also going to have a piece of toast with some peanut butter on it and then um i bought some of these goo energy pouches um, they have amino acids sodium and caffeine i was planning on taking one of these um halfway through my run so about 45 minutes so I will go ahead and check back in about how this method goes, if I feel better throughout my run, because um, usually about the, at the hour mark, I'm just, my legs are feeling like bricks. So we'll see what today's run brings. All right, so I'm about five minutes out from my run. It's almost 10. I ended up not eating until about, you know, 9.15, 9.30, and I wanted plenty of time for my stomach to digest the toast. And we're gonna go to the bathroom and all that. So that's taken care of. I'm gonna be taking this uh, salted caramel goo for the first time. Um, it said to take this five minutes before a run and then I can take another one 45 minutes into a run or halfway through, which 45 minutes is halfway through my run today. So I'm taking this one and then I'll be taking, what I'm gonna do is leave a water bottle and then this espresso love goo outside of my house. So that way, when I loop back around after 45 minutes, I can just quickly grab it, have it, um, and then get going because I don't want to come in the house and kind of get out of the mindset of running. Um, I'm hoping my stomach doesn't have any issues with this. I've heard it can cause some stomach issues, so hopefully um, that won't happen. If it does, I'll be close enough to the house or I can just call Sean to come get me. But let me go ahead and try this. Definitely has the uh, consistency of caramel, that's for sure. I just okay. I would taste better if I was eating it on something like ice cream. <laughs> definitely, <clears throat> definitely salted caramel. That's definitely what it tastes like. This is not an enjoyable way to eat 100 calories. I can think of many other enjoyable ways to eat 100 calories. Yeah, having water to drink, that definitely helps. I would not want to eat that while I'm running, while I'm already thirsty and then having it. This is like a really thick consistency. We have four minutes till I get on the road. Let's do this. 49 point. 49 minutes. How you feeling? I can keep going. What? Espresso love gel. Ah. You feeling good? Honestly, any anything would taste good right now. I'm not used to stopping in, in my middle of my run. 
Oh yeah, this is good. My legs are starting to get heavy. About 45 minutes like usual. So this is a good little midway break. Let's see if this helps my legs out. I really like this espresso love, this is good. I would be standing, but then I couldn't record and do this, so. Okay. Let's go finish halfway there. 40 minutes to go. Let's do it. So I'm an iron 15 in. This is normally where I'd stop and be done. Got 15 more minutes left of me. I can do it. I'm trying to make 10 miles. I'm at 8.44 now. Let's do it. We did it. 10.24 miles in the book, Sky. I mean, you didn't do it with me, but you're here to cheerlead me on, and I just love it. Mm -hmm. So, overall consensus. The nutrition made a huge difference on my run and my energy and just how I just, my stamina, I felt amazing. I felt like I had a new pair of legs when I took that break, 45 or 50 minutes in. But then I think maybe 20 minutes later, my legs started to get heavy again. I think the biggest thing I'm gonna change next time is stretching and using the foam roller. I didn't do any pre-run stretches. I didn't do any warm ups. I just got into it, which I knew I, I mean, that was dumb, but I wanted to start at 10 and I wasn't planning ahead very well. Um, so next Sunday, Nutrition, I'm gonna do the same thing, and then I'm going to stretch and foam roll. I'm gonna foam roll the night before, stretch in the morning. I'm gonna, be, I'm about to stretch now. I just wanted to get all these thoughts out before I got into my full decompression mode. Um, this sports bra has a weird. Anyway, um, yeah, that was great. First 10 miles in the book on this. Uh, on my training so far and I feel really great about it uh, there's so many thoughts that I have and I want to get them on the video but I'm running and now I'm here and I forget um, also sleep I know sleep and what you do the week before what you do the day before um, as far as hydrating um, I just finished my run and drank this whole Powerade um, for electrolyte electrolytes and to just kind of replenish the sweat I sweat I don't know if you can see all that. I sweat a lot on that run. Felt so good. And I had three new achievements, which I will put up here. Shaking, shaking. Whew. Which is just so cool. It's, it's a really um, fulfilling feeling to accomplish something that you weren't sure even a month ago you could do, so. That is my overall consensus. Now it's time to go enjoy the rest of this Sunday. For my post-run breakfast, I already had a lot of carbs this morning between the two goos. So those were 200 calories and had a lot of carbs. I had the toast and then I had the Jif peanut butter. Obviously that's more so fats, which I need also. Um, I'm going to have some protein cereal. So I'm doing 40 grams of vanilla whey protein and then a cup of cinnamon and pecan cereal. Um, and then some almond milk. I will show you all that now. So I'm getting in some protein and some carbs post run. This is the protein I'm using. It's DPPN vanilla whey protein. One cup of the cinnamon and pecan, special K, and then eight ounces of the almond, silk almond milk, 30 calories. So I'll put the milk and the protein here, shake it up, pour it over my cereal. That was the hardest. 
Um, when I first went out, it was starting to rain and it was really muggy. And then, I'm sure this is the way I track the view. And then, I was, then it stopped, but I was running hardcore against the wind. Like I felt like I had a parachute. I was like pulling a parachute. Then I turned a corner and it was a brick wall of mugginess again. And I felt like I couldn't breathe because there was no air. So I was like, what do I prefer? Like I feel like I'm pulling a parachute or feel like I literally, there's no air. And that was the whole run. Okay. And then on. 45 minutes in, I got back to the house to have my goo. Ooh, I don't think this is good for my tummy. And then I came in to go to the bathroom, which I never do, but I had to pee. And that, I cannot stop. Stopping was brutal, because it was so hard to get started again. So the second half was all mental. A few times I wanted to cry, I did it. <laughs> and um, it was really hard. But at least I had one really shitty run right before the run, you know, the, the half marathon. So maybe, you know, maybe the half marathon seems a little better. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's Sunday. February 9th, exactly one week from the half marathon. Woo! Oh, let me do an outro. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. That concludes the half marathon training. Uh, this week is taper week. The end of this week, Sunday, is my half marathon race in Austin, Texas with Team VPN Subs. I have been training for this half marathon since September 2019, and I will be running it in February on February 16th, 2020 next Sunday. So stay tuned for the next video where you will see me complete the half marathon. You'll see us a, a weekend full of Austin, a weekend in Austin, <laughs> eating all the foods, and we're bringing home an RV. See you guys in the next video.